Something I hear from a lot of people who ended up buying the Surface Duo is that they eventually did subscribe to Microsoft's Xbox Game Pass service, which allows you to do something kind of cool, and that is stream a game to your Surface Duo or to any Android device of your choice. The thing is, is that a lot of people who have done this might not really know how to get the most out of Game Pass or even how to stream those games in the first place. So what I'm gonna do here today is I'm going to basically give you a quick rundown of what you need to do and how you can get games streaming to your Surface Duo. Now keep in mind, this is not remote play, no game console required. So whether you have a Surface Duo or you have any other Android device, here is how to stream games via Xbox Game Pass to your phone. So the first thing you need to do is obviously sign up for Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. It is $15 a month and that is how you're going to get the actual game streaming to your Surface Duo. Now if you do have a PC that's capable of doing some gaming or an Xbox game console, you're going to get much more out of this because that's going to allow you to download games to either your PC or your Xbox and play those games in a more local manner. If all you're doing is playing stuff on your phone, the value isn't that great, but I digress, that's up to you to decide. Obviously the first month there is $1, so you're not really going to be hurting to give it a chance. Okay, so once you have subscribed to Xbox Game Pass, well, the next step should be somewhat obvious to you. You need to launch the Google Play Store and just search for Game Pass. The app will be this one here. Now, there's a couple of different apps you may see, and I want to make sure that this is very clear. We are installing Xbox Game Pass, not Xbox, not Xbox Game Pass Beta, Xbox Game Pass. That's the one you want. Once it is installed, you're going to open that up. You're going to sign into the same account that you just subscribed to Game Pass Ultimate on. That is very important. You must sign in on the correct account. From there, you can start streaming, but there are only a few games that are going to support touch controls. If you actually scroll down here, you'll see Play With Touch, and several of these games are basically compatible with just playing with touch. They're going to have an overlay on the screen so you can play them like a mobile game. However, if you want to take things up a notch, and play more like a proper game where you're going to need to do one more thing. So the best controller for this is the Xbox controller. I believe it's actually the only controller for this, strangely enough. And what you're going to need to do is you're going to hold down your power button here until you're on, and then there's a little button up on the top of the controller right there, and you're going to hold that sync button until you start getting a blinking light. At that point, you can jump back over to your Surface Duo. You can go into your Bluetooth settings, pair a new device, and you should have Xbox wireless controller appear in there. Simply pair that. You don't need to allow access. It doesn't need to know your contacts or your call history. It's like it's a game controller. So from there, you are now paired. So at that point, it is simple as can be to just begin streaming whatever game you want to play. So let's go with Grounded. You're going to get this little uh, spaceship guy going on and look at that point. If you're on a regular Android device, this is going to be a pretty normal experience. If you're on Surface Duo, uh, it may be a little bit different for you. So what I'm going to actually do here is I'm going to span the app, which if you're on Surface Duo, it ain't great because then you, you've got a, you've got a big old hinge down the middle of it. But since I'm casting my screen, um, it, it really doesn't matter. I, I'm, I'm, I don't see a hinge in that. But there you go, you're at your main menu there. Let's go ahead and jump into a match. It's actually been a minute since I've tested Game Pass. In the past, uh, whenever I tried to play it, there was a lot of latency for me. So let's see if that has changed at all. All right, so we are now in game. And, and of course, you know, some of, the, some of the problems that I have with game streaming are going to bother some people more than other people. The biggest problem for me is the fact that when I hit a button, the amount of time there is between that button press and what happens on screen is troubling to me, um, but not everyone's going to be quite as um, bothered by that. You will see in the top left that I'm showing a poor connection, and I don't, I don't really know why that would be. I have a relatively fast internet connection. Um, and other streaming things like Stadia work really well, but for some reason, um, this just doesn't work that well for me. 
but other people have had more success and it may be a situation where different internet providers have different success rates with this versus others i don't know but again for a dollar a month it is definitely worth checking out and it really is that simple whenever you're done playing you're just going to want to simply hold that xbox button down until that light does shut off which does take a long long time but there it goes and that's it you're streaming onto your android phone or your surface duo and just for the people out there who may be wondering how this will perform for them you've seen how the latency was for me and you're wondering how is this going to perform for me well i'm going to go ahead and run a quick speed test just to give you a general idea there and again i do want to point out that something like google stadia i played that um, google stadia when they did their demo for immortals phoenix rising and the latency was almost totally unnoticeable for me whereas um, in uh, game pass it is much more detectable in fact my internet is actually running a bit slower than usual usually i'm up closer to 300 but 180 down is definitely more than sufficient and then i'm going to get in the 20 range up which is again more than sufficient based on what you know xbox says for game pass their minimum requirements are that upload speed is way more than it needs to be so i don't know exactly what my problem is with why um with why my performance isn't quite as good it's a little bit more latent than maybe it should be but at any rate that's where i'm sitting today while this stream happened so that might give you an idea of what it might be like for you guys so guys stay tuned for more coverage just like this hopefully this was helpful to some of you and until next time stay nerdy my friends